I'm back, I'm back, I'm back with another video. I'm in the car again. Um, just got finished running some errands and I wanted to stop and talk to y'all about this topic that everybody's talking about on my Twitter. Um, it's not a new topic. The shit ain't new. The shit is old. It's like some shit that people been talking about for a long time, but we're going to talk about it. I'm going to give my feedback, my honest feedback and opinion on it. So I want to know what y'all think about it as well. So, um... Today's topic is about straight men dating or just having sex with trans women. If you don't know um, what a trans woman is, a trans woman is a guy who had a sex change and, you know, they are now considered a woman. Um, ain't shit new. Um, Y'all know. If you don't know, go do your research. Pull up Google. Put it, put it, type in trans women. It's a lot of trans women. Um that are out here they doing the damn thing they look bomb and shit um and you would never know that they are you know they were guys before um so my opinion on the whole situation because there are a lot of guys um who will sit online and say i wouldn't date a trans girl or i wouldn't fuck with no guy that want to be a girl and wearing a wig and shit but for real, for real, a lot of y'all females out here looking like dudes and y'all putting wigs on. <laughs> it's like, nah, let me stop. But for real. Okay. So I feel like, you know, if a guy, if a straight guy wants to have some sort of sexual um, encounter with a trans girl, I mean, it is what it is. If the guy feels comfortable with doing it, then it is what it is. If the girl, the trans girl is basically fucking with a down low dude and she's not telling him that she's a trans girl i feel like that's where shit gets like twisted a little bit because you can't deal with a straight man and trick him into thinking that you are a actual woman because this guy is looking at you as if you are an actual woman so you know, shit can get out of hand. Like, it, a lot of trans girls, um, trans uh, girls and guys are being murdered because they're not being upfront. They're not keeping the shit real. They're not being honest about the situation. They're not coming out saying, okay, yeah, this is the situation. It is what it is. Um, accept me or not. So, if you going out here fucking with guys who are on the low or just straight guys in general because a guy will see you. If I see a girl or a girl uh, like somebody that looks like a girl i'm going to assume that it's a girl i'm not going to assume oh is that a trans girl like it's 2019 about to be 2020 get y'all shit together if you can't sit up here and be honest with yourself if you honest enough to walk out of the house you know dressed in your truth why can't you speak your truth to a guy or to a girl if you're not you know if you weren't born that way i feel like you owe it to that person to be honest um, and if you want to be in a relationship with that person, how are you starting a relationship off with the relationship? How are you starting a relationship with the lie? I mean, you can't do that. Um, so that's how I feel. I feel like it's okay, it's cool, it's whatever. But if you feel like, you know, you want to trick dudes, then that's up to you. You're going to be into, like, a lot of bullshit if you do that. Um, I don't think you should do it, but... A lot of women, they do it like every day. They will sit here and they will make an account. They look like a they look like a woman. Like you can't tell that they're not a woman until you pull their drawers down and then you see that they got a dick. <laughs> like you can't sit here and just lie to these guys. You gotta be upfront. You gotta be one hundred with it. And yeah, but that's how I feel. If you're gonna do the damn thing, do the damn thing and be honest. Tell the truth. You don't have to lie about it. It's a lot of guys out there who aren't ashamed of dating or being in a relationship with a trans girl or just fucking a trans girl. It is what it is. Um, so, yeah. What y'all think? Leave me a comment in the comments below. This is a real, like, touchy-ass subject that a lot of people don't like to talk about. But, you know, we talk about this shit in here. Um, so, keep keep watching these videos, y'all. I'm, I'm just trying to continue to build my uh, little vlog fan base. And, um, 
yeah so subscribe comment thumbs up like and keep the comments going keep the uh conversation going in the comment section below more videos coming soon uh make sure you check out my single contagious how does it feel to be racist the shit is powerful and if you haven't seen the uh movie on um on a, a, a Netflix called When They See Us. Check that shit out. If you know what Contagious is, if you heard my song Contagious, you know that shit applies to that uh, that movie series. Uh, so check it out. Um, and yeah, I'll be back with some more vlogs. Peace. How would you feel if you were innocent but sentenced to life? Too many niggas getting killed over stereotypes. How many years we gotta struggle, sick of getting beat down? How many niggas gotta suffer headshot to the ground? I know the hate is in your heart, you wanna see niggas fail. You want your ignorance and everything you do to prevail. You want your white skin to be another excuse for your wrongs. Probably thinking shut the fuck up, then you turn off the song.